Hi right, guys, Jeff at Slavens Racing. This video is about a new sprocket wrench we just got. And uh, there it is right there with the bends in it. You can see it like that. It's a 13 millimeter because that's the only size we brought in because that's what KTMs and Husqvarna's and Husabergs all use. Have for years and years and years for probably the last 20. So the problem with the regular wrench is, one is it's too short. It doesn't give me enough leverage. The second problem is, is that bend here on the end. So when you stick it in there, if you stick it in there like this, well, it works okay like that, but it hits the sprocket. And you're also real likely to get your knuckles. If you turn it the other way, then it hits the tire. And then, of course, it's not long enough, so you don't have really good leverage. So this wrench is slick. You know, it goes in there like this. And it sticks way out here beyond the tire. And it's out here to where your hand can fit in easily without tearing up your knuckles or anything. And you definitely have plenty of leverage. So the correct way to tighten a sprocket bolt is to hold onto the head of the bolt with a wrench. So this is a Torx wrench, some of them are Allen's. So you can put your Torx wrench in there. I prefer to use a ratchet with a Torx fit on it. And you hold the red handle there, so you would hold the Torx head size, side, and then you tighten the nut side. I've seen guys do it the opposite way. Yeah, you can get it done that way, but the bolt's not as tight that way. Reason is, is the bolt will twist. Plus, this is a taper in here, so the taper tries to bind up as it's supposed to do. And so it gives you a false reading of tightness. So you should always hold this side. Don't rotate this side, hold it. And then rotate the nut side. So tighten the nut side back here. And I know you torqueaholics, you, you want to torque everything and that's fine. If you want to get in there and do it, fine with me, but I wouldn't waste my time. I'd put some good red Loctite on that nut and I would tighten the hell out of it with this. That's really all there is to it. Now, unfortunately, uh, the picture that was on our site originally showed this really short wrench with another place to hook a torque wrench onto it. That is not what we're selling. This is the wrench. Sorry for any confusion there, but you know it's only $8.95 or $8.55 or something like that. It's, it's cheap and it's a good quality wrench. Nice and beefy, you're not gonna tear it up. Makes the job a lot easier. And uh, some, some places really super torque their sprocket bolts, like if you buy them from Warp or some of those companies. Uh, so you need this big long lever to get, get it out of there. Anyhow, it's all for now.